limits, but we don't have the graph. On number three, uh, we see our exponents are the same, okay? But our coefficient is different. So really, as long as our exponents are the same, you can just take the coefficient. That is, as we approach infinity or negative infinity, that is going to be our answer. So here, easy answer is two. But if you think about it, if you plug in a really large negative number, like think about like negative 1,000, negative 100,000, negative 1 million. Well, these two numbers are growing at the same rate, if you will, right? X squared and X squared, so 100 million squared, negative 100 million squared is going to be really big. But that two is always there. So it's just two. Okay, how about this one? This exponent is bigger than this exponent. So that means we are going to grow at a greater rate. But don't forget about this negative, okay? So what's happening? As we approach positive infinity, well, the number's getting bigger, 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 bigger on the numerator, but not so much on the denominator. So we're gonna be reaching, in this case, negative infinity because of that negative right there. Thanks, mathletes. Let's keep it up. Calculus.